So you're here with really awesome dot TV. I'm Adam East. This is Devon from the excellent band Such Gold. Hey, what's up? So you guys, since 2011, you guys have been over it a fair few times. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, two or one years. Yes. Yeah. 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 Shows and now you're over here. Now how has UK treated you? It's been awesome. It's, uh, this is the last day, sadly. But really, this tour has been awesome. Uh, it's awesome touring in the UK because all the drives are pretty short. We've been able to like, we've been able to do a lot of uh, like every town we kind of soak it in, get to go to a nice like vegan restaurant or something, a nice like cafe, and like, get to see, see, see the sights, you know, and take some pictures and stuff, so it's been good. Nice. So, in 2011, you released two of your wife and stellar speakers with uh, Into It Over It and Lost the Word. Um, how the high praise from those records, especially when you lost Rosalind and released in Japan? Right. Um, how did that change the band work? Because you're not a very old band. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, the split, the split releases were cool because they're a little bit, they're a little bit, you know, a chance for us to do something different that may, you know, do songs that may not fit on a full release. Um, and I, I think they, you know, some of them kind of show the direction that we were going in a little bit different than you know just the plain like kind of like standard pop punk sound. We're obviously growing from that. And, yeah, I think the splits, the releases help do that a little bit. So last year's Misadventures come out, debut full length. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, it's got a great reception. I, yeah, I don't think I've read a review less than four out of five of it. True, yeah. um, it's, it's got a really, really big support and really good reception for Cozy. It's such a good album. Easily one of my top fives last year. Um, I mean, how would you sell it to someone who has not really listened to such a well, Maybe just heard that you might be a pop punk band associated with a certain amount of people, a band associated with a certain amount. How would you sell it to someone who is in the middle? This adventure kind of captures us as a live band. It captures us as, you know, so you energetic, future um, heavy at times, but, you know, very melodic. We try to bring, you know, we try to be a little bit technical in our writing as well. We try to keep us on the stage, you know, and to push ourselves in these positions. Um, yeah, Misadventures catches all of that. It catches all of that. Incorporates all of that. Along, yeah. along with our older influences, like, you know, like older songs like Lifetime, like Sound, like a lot of time, like classic, like pop, hard, hard. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so, I mean, as a quite an influential band, a uh, stateside influential band who have come over here, you've heard some, I assume you've heard some of what we've got over here, Basement. Yeah, that's We've heard Nectie. Nectie. Yeah, we've heard, I've, I've been hearing the name lately. So. What bands from, from where you're from would you recommend to UK viewers? Um, we have a lot of friends. Uh, Maker, they're from uh, Massachusetts. They've actually come here with Hawk Hawk Yeah, that was a good um, so Let's see. Um, well, both of, uh, a bunch of members of uh, Such Gold have a side project taking my heads. Uh, and that's pretty cool. It's cool to check out. And then I'm actually, been, I'm also playing drums in a band called My Iron Long, and we sound a little bit like, like the, you know, like piano, which is like kind of, kind of screamo, like a lot of Roman kind of stuff. So, it's, it's so I mean, as a live band of support sets, do you feel that you have to adapt to what you play live for bands, for fans who may not know your band, or do you just play like a standard headline set minus a couple of songs? Yeah, you know what, this set, we've been kind of, we've been a little, you know, selfish. We really want to start playing all the new stuff. So, we've been playing a lot of new songs, um, and most of the set is all new songs. We play, like, two or older songs. So. And, I mean, we only have 30 minutes, so it's just a few songs, but I think it's still, you know. Well, um, it's gonna work for us. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, yeah. what's in store for you guys? You released the album in uh, like last year. Yeah, in August. So, we, yeah. before we left for this tour, we recorded two songs for like a split, probably, which we'll that we released this year. We don't know what we're doing with them yet. We just knew that it was the only time we were going to have for a while. So, we got the songs written. And all the UK plans coming up? Anything like um, festivals? I think they were hoping to come back in the summer, but we don't really know. What's going on just yet? Tell the heavy festival people right now. Yeah, yeah. Heavy <laughs> we got asked last year. We were too busy. I think it was last year. We got asked one of the years and we couldn't make it happen. Same with Slam Dunk. But uh, I just, you know, 
Yeah, yeah. Nothing <laughs> said this year, so we don't know about this year, but maybe next year. But hopefully, we'll see you over a lot more. I mean, you've been over a few times. But yeah, we've lost not enough. Yeah. Need some more, you guys. So, I'm Adam. This is Devin from Search Goal. Really awesome TV. Check them out. Cool. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you for that. That's cool. No way, dude.